Workout zone colors are used quite a lot. You'll see them on head units, in training software, and in analysis software. They're a good visual indication of the effort you've done or are about to do. The colors used are typically universal as well. So green is easy up to red, which is quite hard. These power zones are calculated based on a percentage of your FTP, your functional threshold. And somebody asked this week, what specific zones as a percentage do these relate to in Zwift? Now I searched high and low for the answer of this, for the specific percent number. I couldn't find it. I could get the definitions and the colors and the zones, but not the specific numbers he was looking for. So what I found was quite interesting. And the Zwift zones aren't exactly the same as the Coggin zones. They're close, but just not the same. Just a quick reminder before we get into all the details, if you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It keeps the wheels turning on this channel and helps out quite a lot. So using the Zwift workout editor and switching to percent mode, we can see exactly where these colors changed based on the power output that you need to do. And the overview is right here. So gray, zone one, recovery, is 59% of your FTP or lower. Blue, zone two, endurance. You're looking at doing between 60 and 75% of your FTP. Green, tempo, zone three, between 76 and 89% of your FTP. Yellow, you're starting to work a little harder now. Threshold effort, zone four, 90 and 104% of your FTP. Orange, zone five, VO2 max, things get very uncomfortable here, 105 to 118% of FTP. And red, needs no explanation at all. Zone six, 119% of FTP or above. I'll include this information here in the video description below as a reference, but now let's jump over to Zwift and have a look at where they use these zones and colors. It's in quite a few places. The most common place you'll see these workout zone colors is over in workout mode, either browsing a workout you're going to do or creating your own custom workout. Let's have a look at one that I've called all zone workout, which is exactly what it says. You have some zone one, zone two, three, four, five, and zone six work there. They're the colors used, and it's a good indication of the effort required. And that red zone there, that's gonna be a lot of hard work. Also, we can scroll down and pick anything here. So let's go Zwift Academy 2016. And this workout here, extra extended overs and unders. We can see we have a ramp here, which goes zone one, zone two, zone three, back to zone two. Then we're up into the harder work here and into the red for a couple of intervals there. So a good indication of the workout and the effort required. For the more adventurous or independent athlete out there, the workout creator utilizes these color zones quite heavily here. So we can drag and drop a zone one, zone two. Let's jump into zone six straight away. Now they'll put those zones around about the middle of the zones I spoke about before. So we have here at 64%, 49%, and we do know that it goes to 59% before that changes color. So we just check that. Boom, there we go. So the Default drag and drops are ballpark in the middle, but you can tweak those. And we do know that 104 changes to yellow. There we go, cool. So there's workouts and custom workouts and over in plans, it's the same deal. So let's look at crit crusher, review plan on that. We know crits require quite a bit of over FTP work. So we'll have a look through here. I guess later on we'll see some red and there we go. These are all, oh, I was gonna say they're all looking pretty easy, but like, let's have a look at this one here. We can mouse over and see there's quite a bit of work well above FTP. Oh, and that one will get you nice and sharp there at the end. So there's where the colors are used in the plan mode and also the workout selection or creation mode. Next up, during a workout, there are five places these colors are used. Number one, in the top left-hand corner, each interval is color-coded based on the zone that you'll need to ride at. Number two, the center heads up display shows the current effort that you'll need to be doing to get that yellow star. Number three, along the bottom of the screen in workout mode, you'll have a rolling 10 minute window of the power and the zones that you're doing. Number four, the archway itself that you ride through is color coded to the next interval that you'll need to do. And number five, in the mini map, the arch is also the right color for the next interval. Jumping over to free ride or not in a workout. Now this relates to just riding along or a group ride or even a race. You can also enable the bottom graph showing your power zones as you're riding along with a 10 minute rolling window there. And these zones correspond to the percentages of your FTP. 
This graph can be toggled on or off on Mac or PC by pressing the G key. Or on a touchscreen device or Apple TV, you can use the remote to scroll up or touchscreen to touch the screen down the bottom there and pressing the graph icon. And finally, once your activity is complete, the ride report will also be color coded based on the effort that you did in that free ride or workout or in the race. And you can get a good overview of how hard that really was. Okay, so there we are, a comprehensive overview of where those colors are used in Zwift and exactly what percentage of your FTP they relate to. Remember, you do have to have your FTP set correctly, so that does mean doing a few efforts in the red. Good luck with that. Alrighty, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.